Good day, Pat the Backyard Builder here. Well, we're finally in our new abode, the uh, hobby room. We uh, finished it back in, uh, in December here, finally. And uh, it's taken a little while to get moved in here. All, I still haven't got all my boxes unpacked, but uh, we're working on it. Still sorting out uh, the library and everything. We got uh, an amazing amount of books here. But uh, I figured since I put so much time and effort uh, into building this room, I might actually want to use it. So, anyways, uh, got a, a few little repair projects on the go. I figured I'd, I'd, I'd get these out of the way here. Um, first thing I got is uh, this uh, ceramic uh, boot here. Um, is actually uh, th this is actually greenware. Um, uh, for those of you not familiar with uh, with, with, with uh, clay work and and, uh, and pottery and stuff like that, this is actually clay. Um, it's uh, it's uh, made, made from a mixture of clay and talc and other other wonderful stuff like that, and it's a, it's made in a slip cast mold. And uh, I acquired this uh, rather uh, accidentally. It was uh, one of those system situations where it's uh, beautiful to look at, uh, lovely to, to hold, but if, if it self-destructs when you uh, pick it up, uh, we, we mark it sold. Um, so I'm, I'm going to uh, try and get this repaired today. a jigsaw puzzle to, to figure out how this is going to go, go back together. I managed to pick up most of the uh, the larger pieces. A few of them had uh, had self-destructed. Um, there was a bunch of powder on the ground where they hit and uh, I didn't figure it was worth trying to get anything smaller than what I've got here but I do have most of the larger pieces uh, intact. I, I'm I'm hoping I have enough left here that, that, that I can reconstruct it. Um, I've kind of went through the various pieces here and just kind of lined them up where I think they go. Um, if you look at the different pieces, like you, you kind of figure it out, uh, you know, that, that, that's a natural fit for there. And you know, if you follow this little detail here, you can see that joins up perfectly, so that's uh, good that that little piece goes together. And same thing like here, I've got the writing on the uh, the piece here where the person had wrote the price in uh, pencil. And uh, again, that uh, you know, you get these pieces so that they all line up perfectly, and yeah that's obvious that's all one section and as well these here like when, when you're putting your pieces together just look for little little details and stuff that all match up against the other pieces that's obvious you know like when you got this half of a circle and that half of a circle you put the two together it makes a full circle and the crack lines up so now I've got this product here uh, uh, it's called a clay mender and it's uh, for repairing greenware or bisque. Uh, the idea is, uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is just, just like uh, uh, a, 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 a slip uh, and that it, it uh, because, because you can use it uh, just like a glue and, uh, and, and, and then uh, you can refire your object and uh, it, it, it'll uh, mend itself. So I'm thinking this is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess this is actually a, a slip with maybe some chemical on it to, to make it sticky or something. They, they uh, 
that they don't uh, list any uh, content other than say it's non-toxic so I'm assuming it's 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 probably at least 99% clay anyways so um, a little flip lock top here and we can just basically work it just like glue um, I don't detect any any scent off it. Um, they say just to uh, put it together and and hold it. So it seems to make everything nice and nice and damp, just as if it was a glue or you're getting things wet again so it's a little sticky though um, so we'll just put that together there I'm wondering how this would apply if I was to use a, a Q-tip maybe as a spreader. Just kind of see it's almost almost instant adhesion here, so and there we go. You, I'm going to try afterward here, after I get the uh, bigger parts put together, I'm going, to, I'm going to see if I can actually use it to to fill in some of the smaller stuff, because, you know, I lost that little chip there when it uh, broke off. But, uh, yeah, that's already, it's pretty good stuff. It's, it's already holding, so... We'll just put that on here. Okay, you just yeah, you just push that in there and put some pressure on, get it to hold for a moment, and That seems to be about it. These pieces seem to be lining up nicely. We'll just take our ridges down there. Hold that in tightly. Now, I've already figured out this one goes on to here. So, geez, that's almost a perfect fit. Look at that. Just, just, uh, just a little uh, bit of a, uh, you know, ho holes here and there where it goes. But yeah. Um, Let's put that down safely there, and we'll just put along this crack here. Yeah, it's quite good stuff here. I'm, I'm quite impressed. And they say you can use this for uh, repairing bisqueware as well if you. Uh, happen to break it so we'll just put that in there just wipe the excess off and look at that it lines up perfectly uh, yeah, look at that and it's almost it's almost instant adhesion, so that that's actually uh, 
It's actually pretty good, so. Now the only thing I need to do now is uh, figure out what I'm going to do to fill the crack lines with. Um, I, I, I might try filling it with here with with the, the clay mender but uh, it seems to be pretty light and runny so I'm not sure that it's actually going to work. Um, now I do have to do some fiddling and cleanup so maybe what I'll do uh, for the is I'll maybe do my fiddling and cleanup um, and try and collect the uh, the dust from the uh, the fiddling and rehydrate that and maybe use that to fill in the uh, the, the cracks because that might be a little bit I might be able to make a bit thicker of a paste. Almost have it done. We have one oddball piece here that, for the life of me, I can't figure out where it goes. Um, the other problem I'm facing is that I am still missing a big chunk of this. So I'm not certain I'm actually going to be able to complete this. I think I'm going to have to, uh, I think I'm going to end up resorting to uh, rebuilding this with, uh, with other clay, uh, which may or may not be the type of clay used initially. But yeah, we, we, Okay, that piece finally goes, okay, that goes there. It's really hard to figure out where that last piece actually goes. Um, cause I'm missing so much of it in here now. But, uh, interesting. Okay, so we did get that piece finally to fit in there. Okay, so now I need this corner wet and this edge wet down here and between the two of them I'm missing a whole bunch of the surface here chipped away so that would actually fill that 
area there. It does actually line up on the inside here just nicely. So I think we've got that. But yeah, I am missing a significant chunk of it here. I'm not sure what happened to that. I was sure I got all the all the pieces, but it looks like I'm going to have to uh, get some get a hold of some actual slipper clay, and because uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to scrape enough up by fiddling. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to put this project aside for now and come up with a plan B. Thanks, you have a good day.